it's been a few good weeks since I was last at the coast. And my goodness, it feels good to be back. So this week I've been moving house and I'm sure you've all experienced it. It's a very tiring thing to do. And tonight, now that I'm in my new house and I just have some unpacking to do, I thought it'd be nice to take some time out from it all, come out with a camera, relax, unwind, and reconnect with the world around me. And it's quite exciting this evening because I've come down to a beach that's very close to where I was brought up and where I now have moved back to, but it's one that I've never, ever, ever photographed. I've, and I've only been here once or twice in my whole life, on this side of the beach anyway, for a walk. So I had no idea really this evening of what to expect, but all I knew is that deep within me I had this need to come to the seaside to get that relaxed, that tranquil feeling that the sea gives us. And especially on a nice night like tonight where it's nice and mild and where it's very, very calm. It's just, it's the perfect place to be, to relax, to unwind and just to, to chill. Now the move is over. And sticking with this nice, tranquil, slowing down theme, I'm considering doing a little bit of long exposure photography this evening, just because I just want that, that slowness, that, that tranquility. And one thing I'm becoming more aware of when I'm doing photography is how I'm feeling in the moment and being able to then create images based on how I'm feeling and use different techniques and different equipment to create an emotional representation of how I'm feeling in that moment. And tonight it's all about that calmness, that tranquility and connecting with the seaside. So there's quite a, a well photographed point here that, as I say, I've never photographed before. It's this nice little tower at the end of a pier and you've got the beautiful mountains behind it. I'm just thinking it would be a nice image this evening to, to make and to connect with. So I'm going to set up get my filters out, frame up, and just, just connect with this beautiful spot and really portray the peaceful, calmful feelings that I'm feeling tonight in my imagery. As you can probably see, this evening is very grey and overcast and we're not really getting much exciting light, but it doesn't matter because there's always opportunities. And sticking with that tranquil, calm feel that I'm trying to create with the long exposures, I'm thinking about how I can really emphasise that in the editing of these images because I've just taken a photograph here. I'm going to move further down the beach where it's going to be more compositionally pleasing. But I've just taken an image here with a 30 second exposure, but it's just quite flat, it's not great. But thinking from an editing perspective, I'm considering increasing the blues in this image to create a much more atmospheric, colourful image. And it's something we spoke about last month in the Photographic Connections community. We were speaking about colour and how colour evokes different emotions. And when we were speaking about the colour blue, there's two sides of blue. There's the sad, lonely, depressed, isolated side of blue, the coldness of it. But there's also a very peaceful, tranquil, calming side of blue. And that peaceful, tranquil, calming side of blue is what I'm trying to replicate this evening. So I'm thinking, because there is quite a bit of blue to the eye, which isn't completely coming out on camera, it seems a bit more grey, I'm considering in post-processing increasing that blue to create that tranquil, calm, peaceful feel, which is what I'm feeling emotionally this evening. It was also funny when I switched on my camera, it was still set to monochrome mode, which if you watched a few videos ago, I was out photographing in camera in monochrome modes and seeing it in black and white, really gave me another idea for photographing this in black and white which could actually help to emphasize it particularly because we have this very bright band of open sky 
on the horizon, which in colour is quite bright and distracting. But if I go further down the beach, once I've taken the next image I want to, to create, actually putting it into black and white may really help with that because it will allow that band to be bright white with the dark black clouds surrounding it. So that's my thoughts right now. Just because there's not interesting, exciting light doesn't mean there's not photographic opportunities. And sometimes having something like filters can just give you things to play with and experiment with and help you to create images which you may struggle to create in light like this without them. To give you a visual representation of what I've just spoken about, this was the colour of the image straight out of camera. It's okay, but I wanted more of the blue to show to create this tranquil feeling. I cooled the image down using the temperature slider in Lightroom to create this image here. Not everyone will like it, but it's the image I envisaged in my mind and therefore allowed myself to create. I then moved further down the beach to the pier. I created a couple of images here at slightly different angles. This one here, cropped into a square, I felt worked best. Walking further away from the pier allowed me to then experiment with black and white. I made one image in colour, again seeing the flat light, and once again added blue to the scene to lift it and create a calm feel. In black and white I felt it also worked well, but I then cropped it a bit to eliminate some of the sky and allow most of the focus to be on the pier and wet sands. The whole time I was photographing the pier, I felt very drawn to the sound of the sea lapping to shore. This sound is what drew me to the coast this evening, knowing it would naturally de-stress me after a busy week. As I walked down the pier, my attention was further drawn to the water, seeing these beautiful hypnotic ripples moving over the surface of the water. I bumped my ISO up to 2500, allowing me to freeze some of them in motion. These abstract images were created turning out to be my personal favourites of the evening. Tonight's all been about peace, tranquility and relaxation and just coming down to the coast, taking my camera and seeing what sort of images I could create. I think this week I'm just very tired and I just wanted an excuse to come out with my camera just to have that peaceful, tranquil time. I wasn't really anticipating getting any incredible images tonight but one thing that just really, really excited me at the end there was watching the water this evening. It is so hypnotic, it's so, so beautiful. And you will just have seen I took some images there by underexposing a little bit to really allow the highlights on the, on the tops of the tiny little waves and ripples to, to come through. And it's just a beautiful abstract images. And it's always, now I'm finding anyway, it's these unusual things I'm not expecting to photograph that really entice me in and to allow me to create images that are just so different to anything I would normally create. So what I just created there with those ripples, love those images. These ones, not so much, but gave me an excuse to come out, an excuse to connect with nature. And it's just been such a relaxing, tranquil evening after a very busy and stressful week. It's just been so nice to get out. And it's what I'm talking about a lot now, I think, is the emotional impact of getting out into nature, of using nature photography and the outdoors and just your creativity to 
to connect with the world, to connect with yourself and to channel your emotions. And tonight's all been about that. It's about thinking about what have I not had time for this week? What have I lacked this week? And what do I need from a self-care perspective? And for me, it was time in nature, creative rest and reconnecting with my camera and by the sea. I really, really wanted to come to the coast tonight. And I'm so, so glad I did. It's been a beautiful, beautiful evening. And those feelings I wanted to feel, I've definitely felt. So just think about that in your own journey. If you're feeling like you're lacking something, needing something, you've had a busy week, creativity is a form of rest and prioritizing that at the end of a busy week really helps you to relax, to unwind and to recharge your batteries. And thinking about what location you go to as well, depending on what you feel you, or where you really feel you want to go, can make a huge, huge difference, as I've definitely experienced this evening. So as always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. I hope this video has just given you something to think about, some food for thought. And it doesn't matter how busy and what's going on in your life, just finding that time to, to have some creative time in nature can be so, so beneficial for us. And um, yeah. I look forward to seeing you all again next Sunday.